<laughs> Sit. Come up. No, I'm in. Up here. Up here. Sit in here. Good boy. All right. All right. All right. Hey. It's like a drug. All right. Now stay here. Stay. Sit. Stay. Mm -hmm. We're good? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello. Right. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. Hello. This is our Three Yoginis podcast. Yeah, we are Three Yoginis. <laughs> so today is our first episode, so we're going to introduce ourselves. Frank is not interested, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to introduce ourselves. My name is Benedita, and um, I work with uh, the lady, the lovely, <laughs> lovely Amy and Ellie, but we are very good friends as well. And we do yoga together. That's why we decided to set up this podcast. We do yoga and we love blends. And we have sometimes very messy lives like mm. everyone else. So we thought we'd start this podcast and talk about things that goes on in our lives. Yoga and blends. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that sums up. Yeah. And today is our special how to get to well, to get to know us episode a little bit deeper, and we have a bowl of wonderful questions that we are going to pick out at random. None of us know what is in here. And we are going to answer them as truthfully. Yes, absolutely. As we can. <laughs> so you can find out more about us. Who would like to go first? Yeah, do you want to say anything about you? No. No? no. <laughs> Your name? Uh, my name's Ellie. Uh, I work with these guys. And yeah, like Benny said, we're good friends. We get on. We thought we'd start this podcast for a fun thing, really. So yeah, mm. good. Get so have fun with us. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you start, Ellie. Oh. <laughs> well, you're reading the question. Oh, the question is for you. Yeah. You read the question and you answer. Yeah. All right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I'll read the question and you do. Okay. Okie dokies. Oh, shark diving, bungee jumping, or skydiving? Uh, that one is very easy. Uh, shark diving, because I am terrified of heights. <laughs> so, oh, all right. Um, sharks are literally the just very cute. I find. Uh, <laughs> I, like, I, don't know. I really like sharks. I think they look really dopey. Oh, okay. So, um, have you been in the sea with a shark or anything close to maybe um, aquarium in the aquarium with sharks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used All to right. go um, to a lot of aquariums where they had like the sharks swimming overhead. And you find them quite cute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just find them quite dopey. <laughs> little creatures. Little yeah. creatures. No. Um, no, I really like them, and I just think I, that is one thing that I would actually love to do, is go mm. swimming with them. Um, but skydiving and bungee jumping, nope. <laughs> but is it really, do, do they really do swimming, or are you going to this cage in the sea, yeah. and they are, they are swimming around you, and you're just staring there, you know, standing there looking yeah. at them. Yeah, a lot that, of them is that, that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You see them, obviously, in the documentaries, where they're, mm. like, swimming with them, and mm. I don't know how... Yeah. accessible that is yeah um but yeah out of the three anything with sharks and why are you scared heights. of heights mm -hmm. did you have any accident no not re i mean I, I almost fell out of a roller coaster which is oh, like no. not related at oh all. my god oh, oh yes it is really yeah. 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 if that would happen to me i'd be very but scared it as wasn't well again high up at all and i love roller coasters so, so how high mm. how high uh, like the ceiling high maybe twice that maybe like two stories or something oh my god it wasn't, for me that's well, that i can i don't mind that height um oh, all right but anything higher mm. yeah and really uh, do you for. do you go in roller coasters now? yeah i love them oh, really? i absolutely love I them i i went to a download <laughs> festival quite a few years ago now and they had because the roller coaster i almost fell out of was a, just a fun fair and i went to the uh, festival and they had the exact same roller coaster and I went back on it, and I had a whale of a time. <laughs> oh, impressive. nice! Wow, you that's know, good. Oh, so you, if you if you overcome the fear of going into a roller coaster after falling out of it, mm. you you'll be you'll you'll overcome the fear of I don't know skydiving or mm. any other thing. Yeah. <laughs> baby. Says, says the one that uh, yeah. says I okay. never skydive. <laughs> maybe baby steps. Maybe get yeah. me in an elevator that goes up. Mm. And what mm. happened to the um, to the ride? You know, was there any technical it, problem? No, or? no, no. It wasn't any technical. It was like just a bar that came across, mm. Mm. and we were in a spinny bit, and it was just spinning mm. around. Yeah. And I just started slipping 
towards it and um, I could actually squeeze just through the bar. Right. Mm. Yeah. And I was just edging towards that and I just felt this huge hand go grab the scruff of my neck and it was my dad pulling me back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he nice. just hugged me real tight, like, whoop. Nice. So <laughs> and then we just kind of looked at each other like, yeah, that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> How old exactly. Are you? Uh, maybe about tenish. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, wow. But luckily, I have no longer the fear of falling yeah. out of roller coaster because I'm too small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do always. You know, it always crosses my mind. There's always like a thought about a few seconds. What if this breaks, or what mm. if <laughs> the thing it's not tight enough mm. or something like that and especially those ones where there is a tiny little gap yeah. and somehow it seems like you move a lot yeah. on it <laughs> it's the higgledy piggledy like fairground ones right rather than the big amusement parts as well on the wooden tracks yeah yeah yeah, yeah. those yeah. ones I'm more cautious of now mm. um because again I went to a, a fest a, it was a scare thing a couple mm. of years back now and he had the giant thing that went like that and you went upside yes. down and all yeah. that yeah. and I was up top we were meant to be getting off the ride and I was up top for about 10 minutes just sat there like this is nice <laughs> and then I got to the bottom and everyone that was waiting for me was like all scared and I was like what yeah and they're like it broke you, oh <laughs> you, that was you, <laughs> you were stuck and I was like oh I was just enjoying the views <laughs> yeah <laughs> good good yeah. good so you have a good um kind of um like if I'm strapped into like a ride or something and I'm then really you're, high, you're fine. Then I'm fine. But yeah. I think the one I don't like flying. Oh really? <laughs> so, oh my god! So, so we're discovering going, a few more things. Yeah, the idea of going up in a plane and then jumping from said plane at high mm. is like literally. So did you fly already? Did you go somewhere by plane? Yeah, yeah. I used to right. fly so much when I was a kid. Um, what but, happened? Uh, there was one time I was going to Malta. <gasps> And uh, we were do- doing all the pre-flight checks. We were at the end of the runway. We were just about to take off. And then all the power just went... Oh. And we were like, oh. And they just like kind of pushed us back into the terminal. Like, that wasn't going to happen. And then they changed... Like, we weren't even up in the air. Oh and then God, they like, okay, like, yeah. literally just like changed something. And they were like, okay, let's go. And I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, not. <laughs> yeah. So now you have... That, that is, fear. yeah. That's okay. like... So you still yeah. fly, but yeah, you're yeah, a bit like, I'm not happy. Too happy yeah. about it. Uh, the best person for me to go flying with is my stepdad because mm. he was learning how to fly so he can literally tell me every single noise oh, okay. what it's doing uh, and I'm just like right. oh, and then you so feel comforting. more confident <laughs> yeah. okay yeah 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 wow interesting mm. yeah. <laughs> all right so ellie i don't know if you can see frank is in our collection he's saying just <laughs> Which would you prefer to have as your roommate, a goat or a bird? Definitely a bird. Thank you. <laughs> goat, goat's just huge. That's a lot of cleaning. Birds yeah. are a little more compact. Well, I think the birds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like, think the birds will poo a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amy, yeah, Amy is keeping herself. Like, yeah, she's like, herself, yeah. Like, oh, you want you want our attention, Frank? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> like, what's going on here? What are you taking out of the bowl? Is it something Hi. to eat? <laughs> yeah. Okay, goats, now come goats down a little more, a little more smelly. Yeah. I like goats. I do really like them, but yeah, in close proximity. But think about all the goat birds. yoga you could do. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, like, yeah, that's <laughs> 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 But I think goats, you can hug them. You can... T- you got to... Birds, I don't know. They are all the time flying, and they're very mm. delicate. No, you can't really just. Uh, the the ah. bigger the bigger ones you can. Like mm. if you had a parrot, you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then it'd be very cute. Yeah. Um, budgies, on the other hand, uh, would have something to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Them. yeah. Although, yeah, they sometimes are just so docile, and you can just pick them up and be like, "Hello," and put it back down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I think I like the idea of them perching on my shoulder. And oh, being talking. a pirate, yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Real life pirate, um, and yeah, the ones that can learn to talk, they're really fun. Although, in the middle of the night, maybe not. Some earplugs, and it should be fine. No, right? friend. <laughs> the ones you're in front of Ellie. Well, the ones that is when they're creepy, <laughs> when they the just star. start laughing, and you just hear. <laughs> oh, oh. At three a.m. Mm. I hope it's still recording. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let's check. I think it should be. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah we're still going. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we're not editing this. 
Are we not? No, no, no. just like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, right, so we're talking mm-hmm. about l- having animals in our bedroom, mm-hmm. living with animals. Right? Yeah. And and the question was bird or goat? Mm. In, and in the bedroom, so you as would live in your bed or as a roommate? Okay, oh roommate, yes, yeah, so yeah. Right, yeah. So be in yeah. your bedroom. Yeah, definitely bird. <laughs> Still bird. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Good. I wouldn't. I think I would go for the goat. Yeah. Just because it's more. Uh, I don't know. I'm just imagining. I want to. S- say good morning and the bird starts flying around the bedroom and I'm like no no I'm gonna say good morning you know or something like that and it's just ah oh, leave me alone kind of thing. and the goat okay he runs around the room but mm. it's easy for me to catch him because I can't fly <laughs> yeah that's funny and, the, and they are squishy aren't they, they mm. I don't know I like mm. to touch I like I'm very kind of touchy touchy so I like to touch so mm. I would go for a goat but Mm-hmm. So you two would go for birds. Yeah, well, Amy well, yeah. has a bird, like, so I yeah. can't answer <laughs> yeah. otherwise. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Mm. So he's your roommate. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we have a habit of um, his nighttime spot is in my bedroom. So during mm. the day, him and his cage comes all the way downstairs and has okay. a little daytime perch. Mm. Okay. And then we yes. go upstairs for bedtime. Mm. Oh, nice. nice <laughs> and nice. he loves the routine. He's proper yeah. into it. <laughs> oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, is it my turn? Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. Okay, I'll go for the big paper. Did anyone mm-hmm. want to take a big paper? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is one? What is the one common myth about your profession that you want to debunk? Debunk. Mm. Couldn't be a better question, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the common myth is that you need to be flexible to do yoga. Mm-hmm. There's so many common myths, but um, I'll stick with uh, I'll stick with two. <laughs> One is not enough. <laughs> you need to be flexible to do yoga. Myth number one. Mm-hmm. Myth number two. Uh, yoga is easy and it's to relax. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the myth number one. Um, it's completely, completely pff, wrong. Uh, yoga was created um, for men. Um, uh, okay, yoga was created more like 5,000 years ago. And when it was created, it was just for the head, just to uh, stop the mind thinking and then figure out who we are. And the only physical yoga that um, they used to do was to do some poses to prepare for meditation. So, you know, they sit with their legs like this in full lotus. And sometimes they had to do some kind of movement with their bodies just to be able to sit like this for days, eh? because uh, Mm. they used to meditate for days and days and weeks and months. And um, and you might be asking, didn't they they eat? Didn't they drink? Was Was it cold? And no, that's true. They didn't eat, they didn't drink during those weeks and months they were meditating. They didn't feel cold. That's it. They would sit for meditation and they didn't get up until probably quite a long time. And then it was only the when the modern yoga came, which was, I, d- I think it was about 100 years ago, but maybe a bit more, um, that uh, we, they, they, they started integrating more yoga poses. The, the yoga sages knew that at some point we needed more of the physical part of yoga than the mental. So they created this system where we do yoga poses. And the first few uh, main teachers, um, Padavi Joyce, Iyengar and Devi from Vinyasa, the son of uh, Krishna Makarya, and Krishna Makarya was the father of modern yoga and he was the teacher of Padavi Joyce, Iyengar, and obviously the father of Devi and teacher of Devi, which was the father of Vinyasa, they created this kind of modern yoga that was all yoga poses, some pranayama, a little bit of meditation, but focused just on the body. Because they knew that at some point we needed to move our bodies because we're not moving our bodies enough. And in order to then study the mind, we needed to first free our bodies from tensions, from pains, from toxics, and all of that. 
So initially, uh, only men were practicing yoga because of, you know, the way things were. Um, women were just to have children and stay at home and, you know, all of those things. So men were just practicing yoga and men have a natural predisposition in their body to have more muscular mass than, than women. With more muscle comes more strength and less flex flexibility, less mobility. So the yoga, the, all the yoga poses were designed to give more flexibility. Now, a few, like a hundred years later, yoga has been developed to create a bit more strength because lots of yoga is now practiced by women and just generally men don't do so much of a physical work. So they are not so muscly anymore. They sit more, they do different types of jobs which are not so strength building. Therefore, they also need strength building in their yoga practice. And on the top of that, and I'll stop uh, now, <laughs> soon, after this one. On the top of that, it's actually a lot more difficult for someone that is super flexible to start doing yoga, has a lot more hard work to do than someone that is already strong and just needs to work on flexibility. Because someone that is already super flexible, they can do the yoga poses very easily. But the problem is that they are relying too much on their flexibility, on their maximum movement of range, which is not really creating any strength. They just do the pose easily and quickly. Uh, so they have to work on strength, which is almost like going against what's normal, going against what's natural, going against the, the natural movement that they go into. For non-flexible people, which is the, the majority, we just have to keep the strength or build a bit more strength and work on the, on the flexibility, which, you know, it's still difficult. Sometimes it's very challenging and it depends on the person, but uh, it becomes a bit easier and safer as well. Mm -hmm. Someone that is already very flexible, if they are not taught to move away from their flexibility, they might end up overstretching over this, over that, and then not create strength. Then the, the other myth is that yoga is easy. So <laughs> <laughs> people think that yoga is like to relax and you know, you just uh, move slow when you do a few yoga poses and you kind of just zen, zen out or something like mm -hmm. that and it's easy. But yeah, no, it's not. It's, it couldn't be furthest away from the truth. Mm -hmm. And the best person to tell you that is Amy, because <laughs> she's a, a, a beginner, but not beginner anymore, but she's, she practi Newer. started practicing <laughs> yoga less than a year, I would yeah. say. Is that but fair yeah. to say? On a regular basis. Yes. And um, did, you, did you have that idea as well, that yoga was going to be an easy kind of relaxing thing? I had the idea it was going to be relaxing, not easy okay um because <laughs> to be honest with you i found even just a downward dog difficult yeah to begin with because i just had none of the strength in the shoulders none of the flexibility in the hamstring so for me it was just a mess yeah um but i thought hey it's relaxing <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then i turned out it wasn't even that <laughs> Yeah, yes, <laughs> but yes, I love yeah. it so much. Um, yeah. Wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest with you. I think if it was relaxing, I would feel like I wasn't working. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's and I think that's the thing. You know, it's quite intense as you go through the class, but for sure because it's so intense, at the end you feel completely relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, like the high moment you hit the shavasana, shavasana. you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. I even, did that. Yeah, I was yeah. great. <laughs> Who fell asleep in shavasana? Oh. So yeah. many times. I'm always dozing up. Mm. And sometimes even when I'm teaching and I'm super tired, I do Shavasana with you guys. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this feels so good. Mm -hmm. Is that why a we little... get the extra long ones? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, this is nice. And then you're just there, like, I just fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I need to get them out of Shavasana. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah, so, so it's really physical. It's intense. It's... Um, it's supposed to be challenging. It's not supposed to be easy. If it is easy, you're not growing. And mm -hmm. yoga is about growing. So Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that was my que my t my question. And mm -hmm. one time oh, twenty minutes gone. So we do one more question? Oh, it's up to you. Go see yeah, see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, ooh. Uh, which would you rather win, the lottery or to be named employee of the month every month? <laughs> I kind of feel like oh this my is God. a little bit of a no Oh, brainer. what a question. I mean, as much as I love my job, I would love to be named Employee of the Month every month. Um, I very much would like the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> like, kind of a, yeah That's I'm, a really yeah, obvious question. A little question. bit of a no brainer. Yeah, like, please give me the money. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, now there's another. Okay, hold on. The screen saver just came up, guys. So we're going to. All right, there we go. And. Okay, this is tomorrow. Um, okay, so now, sub, subsequ, subsequent. Subsequent? Mm -hmm. Subsequent? Do you know the word subsequent? No. No, I'm sure they're. I'm not yeah, saying. Yeah, no, it they're, they're subsequent. Subsequent, subsequent. yes, exactly. <laughs> I know a lot of good words in Portuguese, <laughs> but then I don't know how to translate them into English. So, subsequent. <laughs> Subsequent to uh -huh. that question is, what would you do with your lottery money? Mm. Um, I would buy a cabin in the middle of the woods and just <laughs> completely isolate myself from the world. Really? Um, yeah, probably. I would, okay. even if that was like a holiday home or something that I'd spent the majority of my time in, like just in the middle of the woods completely not completely secluded like i would still like a little bit of creature comforts like yeah. electricity and maybe wi-fi ah, <laughs> i was gonna ask but, um, i'm sure you want wi-fi yeah it would just be nice um i would also make sure that the house was 90 percent avery as well so mm. i would just buy loads of budgies yeah. oh, oh right yes, yeah yeah, for the yeah birds. so i would yeah, just yeah. buy like all yes. my budgies and everything yeah. um and yeah <laughs> Write and, a book or something. <laughs> and is that because is that because you you like to spend time alone? Um, it's a little bit of everything. I really do enjoy my own company. Um, and the idea of just being like in the middle of like the woods. I love the woods, and I can get lost in it for hours. So just having not only the time but also the money, so I have the time mm -hmm. to just be in that kind of environment without anyone pestering me or any kind of responsibilities just there mm. in the middle of the woods with an open fire and a book and a cozy chair <laughs> mm, <laughs> that would be okay. like my i never thought you, you wanted thing. to be so isolated like, uh, you don't come across as someone that wants to i like be i do like people yeah. like when i yeah. deal with people i like them yeah but at the end of the day i like going away from like uh, going mm. home and then not having yeah. to deal with people yeah, yeah and yeah. that time is just so precious to me and i think yeah. mm, i want a little bit more of that time see how that yeah. goes i might go stare crazy within the month yeah. and Absolutely. you know yeah go mad <laughs> yeah because <laughs> i think, I then, think I from the moment there. you don't have bills to pay you have yeah. your house mm. rent free you, it's all paid off and so on a lot of the weight and the heaviness mm. and the stress that yeah. comes with it it's off your shoulders isn't yeah it? i would just and like then that. you just enjoy life yeah. Because you don't have pretty much any worry. Yeah, just the yeah. opportunity to find out what life is like without mm. that pressure. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I have to get up and do this every day and mm. have to pay my bills every day. Although, and just the idea of just... You know. Yes. Although, it's very possible that it depends on what you would do, but many people have moved um, into very secluded areas and they just live off the land and yeah. they do things and so on and they are absolutely fine because mm. they get enough fulfillment yeah. out of that contact with the nature yeah. and then the odd trip to the town center or yeah. to the shops mm. to buy things and i think there's more and more people like that mm. because they had enough of this busyness of the city mm. yeah i think that's what and i would like yeah. to do it's like every now and then take a trip into london or somewhere extravagant yeah. You know, be yeah. have an extravagant night out and, you know, have amazing cocktails or whatever and have yeah. a private chef and, you, and even, then go back into yeah. my little cave. And I think yeah. even that you might not even want yeah. anymore. Yeah. You might just come to your sh weekly shop, the ones, you know, the mm. things you can't grow in your uh, land. You might come to your weekly shop and yeah. say hello to the person in the shop. Like, no, that's enough people for me to know. Yes, and then, and then you go back and that's it. Okay, that's it. I had enough. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, another question. Oh, fling them out. It's <laughs> probably the one I was meant to have, but no. <laughs> uh, did you have a nickname when you were growing up? If so, what was it and where did it come from? 
No, so that's a really boring question. Can I pick another one? <laughs> I had no nickname. Well, it was so just what, a which name? Like, like my what, full L? name's Eleanor, so my oh. nickname is stuck as Ellie. So, but it's just a shortened. <gasps> oh my god! You never said that. You no. never said you Eleanor like E L E A N O R. Oh yeah. Yeah, not very. Have you never had it shortened right down to L? Yeah, my boyfriend calls me L actually. Mm. Uh, and I've always said if I was a, ever gra- uh, a graffiti artist I'd just be like L uh-huh. <laughs> L uh. don't know why I'd be a graffiti artist but yeah. it just crossed my mind yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we know we know each other for so long <laughs> Ellie, 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 Ellie I never thought your name was uh, something else yeah maybe when I reach a certain age I'll change it back to the full be like yes my name like is a, Eleanor I'm yeah, very distinguished a refined <laughs> lady in my care home <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah, that it's not really a nickname, but it's shortened mm. and it's stuck. So yeah, yeah, it's interesting because already Missy, she's not called Missy. No, her name's really different, isn't it? What is her name? Um, Margot. No. No, Hannah. <laughs> No, it's longer and it really yes. it doesn't not suit her, but it's just really out of character for her. Um, but it's completely different. It has nothing yeah. to do with Missy. I can't remember the name. Ooh. But it's, <laughs> it's quite interesting because I, I, I don't know. I never expect people to grow up and people around not knowing your name. Kind mm. of. Mm. Yeah, you know? I've so, always yeah. been an Amy. Like, mm. yeah. There's nothing yeah. to shorten it to. Yeah. There's nothing... Yeah. It could have been, yeah. yeah, that's true. Like that's true. Amy. Yeah, quite interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I love my name. I love mm. my name. And I'm so happy my mum went really crazy with the names. I'm Benedita, my sister is Josefina, and my brother is Rafael. They're great oh, names. So, yeah. What about middle names? Do you have middle names? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, have my, I have one, and it is uh-huh. Louise, oh, named okay. after my oh. nanny on my dad's side. Oh, oh nice. Family that's nice. Names. Yeah. And you? Uh, Rebecca. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Never played to Rebecca. I'm in so there. glad I wasn't called Rebecca. Well, you should have that, like, oh, but I think it's nice. I actually. couldn't, I couldn't I like stand it. it being shortened to Becky. I don't know why. Uh, just really, right. like, it doesn't okay. sit well. Yeah. <laughs> sorry to any Beckys out there. <laughs> You've just defended the whole yeah. world of Beckys out there. We are very sorry. I think, you know, <laughs> it's a very English thing mm. to shorten names to do acronyms mm. and you know all of these things or to do uh, sayings like I don't know mm. Ian keep, uh, all the time says there's a dolphin farts in the water you know all mm. these kind of <laughs> yeah sayings, it's the Pope funny. Catholic yeah yeah yeah, yeah something uh-huh. like this and uh, beca- in Europe we don't do that too much mm. yeah you might have a nickname because your name is too big or too long like me that is too long or, uh, but otherwise we don't do it so much. But here mm-hmm. you do a lot, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so my middle name is Sabina. Oh, yeah. I love that name. Yeah. 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 It's quite funny because my father wanted to call me Sabina. My mm-hmm. mom wanted to call me Benedita. So <laughs> we kept both. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, all right, so another question for yeah. me and then mm-hmm. we are wrapping up. We can keep going for an hour. I'm kind of enjoying it. I feel like it's flowing really well. All right, okay. I think we should just keep going. So maybe we do a second episode. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we just stop it Mm and episode number two. Yeah. We're not editing this bit, by the way, guys. (laughs) No editing. Yeah, you can see how professional we are right now. Like, (laughs) uh maybe we should do this, do this, do that. Oh, my goodness. Is it another good question for you? (laughs) Have you ever been skinny dipping? Diping, dipping, dipping, mm. dipping before. Well, this right. is naked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> and the oh, truth. Uh, so, I have, I have, and uh, when I was very young, I was probably not even in school. Oh my goodness, you're so bored, aren't you, my darling? <laughs> And I was not. I was probably not even in school. Mm-hmm. Um, we used to go in Portugal. There is. Can we see Ellie? No, no it's not important. <laughs> Frank's beautiful. Look at his little legs. Oh no! So, um, <laughs> for some it's reason, fine. he it's just fine. wants to be in the middle of the screen. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> I am the star. So, yeah, um, all right. So this <laughs> angle is good. Mm. We can see everyone. Yeah. 
Or just come closer to me, Ellie. Yeah. Uh, no, I need to go this no, way, me. I think. Oh, that way. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, when I was young, growing up in Portugal, uh, on in the summer, some weekends, we used to go to a beach, which was not too far. It was like half an hour drive. But in Portugal, sometimes half an hour drive is quite a long, t- long time because it's mm. a small country. Mm. But lots of traffic, summer, weekend, <clears throat> everyone goes to the same beaches and so on. And oh, <laughs> and it used to be a nudist beast, beach mm-hmm. that my parents liked to go. Although my parents never used to do nudism, but they used to like to go there because it was quiet, space yeah. was huge. The beach, beach, lots of big waves. And um, uh, so, of course. Me, all full of confidence and, you know, like I am, I was just like, I'm naked. <laughs> so I used to do and swim naked very often. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you grow and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I started growing and then I started having breasts and then I like started hiding. I wouldn't get undressed in front of my sister or my mom. And then my sister and my mom started getting all like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Mm-hmm. And then I started feeling even more self-conscious, blah, 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 blah. So then I went all like very, mm. and then last year in August, mm-hmm. was it last year? I think it is, so 20, yeah, it was last year in August. I did my 300 hour teacher training mm-hmm. in Germany, oh, yeah. right? And it uh, was a whole full month, pretty much. I think it was 22, no, it was 29 days. I can't remember. In, in, uh, in this place in Germany, in the middle of, uh, nowhere as well there was like random houses here and there in the fields and they had um a natural swimming pool oh, so yeah. not a proper one yeah, yeah. but really natural so uh, they had like this set up around the swimming pool with frogs and with the grass mm. and things like that and and then they also had sauna oh. <laughs> so on uh i think it was sunday or saturday i can't remember in the afternoon, I have Sunday. Sunday afternoon, we used to have the afternoon off. It was only Sunday afternoon off. The whole time was all the time bang, 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 practice yoga, practice yoga. Sunday afternoon, we used to have time off. So we would go to the sauna, and then we would go to the swimming pool mm. to, to kind of contrast cold. And of course, me, my <laughs> sauna, I went a few times, but I didn't like that people were naked there. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, oh no, I, I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't do that. I, I'll go with my swim, with my bikini, and even with my bikini, sometimes I felt a bit uh, uh, weird. So, and then swimming pool, they would go naked to the swimming pool. I was like, no, I don't think I can do <laughs> naked in the swimming pool. And then one, d- so then what I started doing, I waited until everyone had their time in the swimming pool and in the sauna for me to enjoy without naked people around mm. and feel more at ease. Mm. So one day I was by myself in the sauna and then a German girl, tall German, you know, like they are, comes into the sauna. Of course she goes naked. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it's one thing to be naked. It's one thing to be faced with a naked person. I yeah. guess it's like, <laughs> what do we like? <laughs> I know. Especially, of course, in Germany, it's normal. Yeah, they just do that. So, so normal, so normal. But for us, it's not normal. And I honestly, I have no, it's fine, no problem. But you just feel uncomfortable because Mm -hmm. you're not used to have naked bodies around you like this. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it as well. Mm Because I was at ease with Mm -hmm. her. We had spent some time together, done some things together, partner up and so on. So I was fine. So I went naked as well. And I said, okay, I don't usually do this. So just, you know, bear with me. I'm a bit (laughs) uncomfortable here. (laughs) And she was fine. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, okay, I'm going to go into the swimming pool. So I was like, okay, I'll come as well. So put the, the towel uh, wrapped around me. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to go naked in the swimming pool. <laughs> and then I, I went naked. At first, I looked around. <laughs> <laughs> she was already swimming naked, yeah. like, you know, supermodel. And she was actually a supermodel back oh. in a few days. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tall, you know, these German, tall, skinny, beautiful girls and swimming in the swimming pool. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go as well. So I looked around. There was no one. Dropped a towel, went naked. And I'm like, ah, you know, all like cold and uh-huh. naked. And then I, I didn't stay too long. It, take, it took me a while. 
Mm-hmm. So, and then I went back to the sauna, and then I went back to the swimming pool, did a bit more naked swimming. The thing is, there's two things on this. First, I'm, I'm I was not used to, you know, all this adult thing, like, oh, no, no, no. And then second, I also grew a stupid fear with being in this country and growing older that uh, I might be beaten. You know, I don't see, so the, the, the swimming pool was dark. Yeah. Of course, mm. natural, so it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> but if I don't see, if I don't see what's in the bottom, yeah. but if I don't see properly, a fish might come and bite I'm me. Num, num, num. I know, bite me in the bum <laughs> yeah, yeah. or bite me in the mm. belly or bite me the my foot. So I grew this fear. So a while ago, I did a, a diving course to overcome this fear. Oh, oh my cool. God. <laughs> <laughs> yoga really came. I was like, you're a yoga teacher. Come on, control your fears. You're a yoga teacher. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> it, it was another story. I'll tell you another story. But anyway, so I did skinny dipping last year, which was great. And I want to do it again. Mm. And uh, that really helped me to... My tissue training last year was really... I went there really with this idea of getting... Um, getting rid of all this crappy stuff that I put in myself. Mm. The fear of the dark, the fear of the insects, the fear of (laughs) being bitten by Mm. a fish, the fear of being naked in a swimming pool, the fear of this. I was like, okay, you need to overcome all of this crap. So I slept um, outdoors in the forest by myself during the night with all the insects and all the spiders and all the things and cold. And I did the skinny dipping and all of that. Uh-huh. Oh. So there you are, my long. Uh, <laughs> no, it's good to push up hey! <laughs> So I think that's it for the first episode, girls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for Thank watching. You. Bye. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Namaste. Oh, yeah. Namaste. <laughs>